Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Maserati Quattroporte. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 4.2 sequential four-door, 4,244 cc, 2006 on an 06 plate. Fuel economy, urban, 12.2 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 24.5 miles per gallon. And combined is 17.9 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 5.2 seconds. A top speed of 171 miles per hour out of an eight cylinder, 395 brake horsepower, 32 valve engine. Beautiful Pin and Farina styling, drives absolutely fantastic, sounds well. <laughs> It sounds better than it looks, to be honest, when you rev it up. It's got uh, Larini exhaust, makes all the difference. I mean, they, they sound fantastic to start off with, but the, with these Larini exhaust on, it's a completely different car. Got the Maserati vents there in the front wing, multi-spoke alloys, red calipers, front parking sensors, the matte black grill with the Maserati Trident there. Chrome window surrounds, the Sport GT badges, and again the Maserati badge with the red bit in, which apparently makes all the difference. So electric boot release from the key. There's also a little switch just under there and a locking switch there. Reasonable amount of, of room in the back there. The Maserati toolkit underneath, uh, tucked underneath in, in the, the carpet. Um, reversing sensors there. And the quad exhaust. Now I've got it ticking over for uh, a very good reason, apart from the sound. The, the back seats here, you should perhaps see there. There you go. So reclining, seat height adjuster. So that's an excellent feature too. You can't see from here, but we've also got a rear blind, which uh, you can move up and down electronically like so and your own vents for either side here we've got rear central armrest and there's a there's a switch there which i'm not sure ah right <laughs> so excellent so that switch there moves the passenger seat forward gives the uh, whoever's been chauffeured about in the back uh, more room more leg room and you've got a power socket there so that's uh, that's a brilliant idea too and also the the Maserati crest embossed in each headrest car's beautiful um, as, as I say absolutely fantastic to drive the suspension coming up here the, the suspension and the, the damping is really second to none and even up my road where there's a load of real deep speed bumps um, it just took them in its stride probably better than my Range Rover does I, I should have done a lot more research before I came out in this car. It, it really does deserve it. And the, the previous owner told me all about it as well. But it was a few weeks ago when it came in. And, and we've been that busy. I've, I've just not been able to get around to doing this car. And of course, in one ear and out the other. So, uh, I, as I say, I should have done a bit more research. Sorry about that. But take it from me. It's, it's beautiful to drive. If you want a good example or a, a good example to start off, again, like the Jag we had a few weeks to, to put some work in and, and make it concourse, keep it, then uh, this, this is ideal, it's, it, it is lovely. Okay, well, here's the bit I've been looking forward to anyway. I'll just take you for a ride in it. Okay, here we go. Now, 
I've put a microphone on the exhaust, uh, so hopefully it will catch it. Um, we'll see. That's the that's the key there. Proper ignition key. Now listen, uh, electric seat. It's uh, yeah memory seat. So I'm going to get that back there. Is that remembered them? We'll see. Anyway, <coughs> it uh, while it's still in neutral, I'll, I'll just give it a blip. I don't want to stampede the sheet, but so neutral. <laughs> okay, this little gear knob here. As soon as, I, as soon as I start doing anything, somebody rings me. So a little gear stick into ne sorry, into reverse, proper handbrake, sequential box. When you're reversing, you've got to make, make your mind up to do it, not uh, not be half-hearted about it. <coughs> on, the, on the brake and then forward into drive. Have it in manual or automatic. It's also sport. Just get over this little bump here. I should have checked to see whether it's got air suspension. It must have. It's that good. Right, that's it. <laughs> That's, that's all you're getting. If you want any more, you're going to have to buy it. It, uh, it sounds absolutely fantastic. But as I say, it drives so good too. Uh, here you can shift between manual and automatic there. So that's in manual. Change down with a paddle shift. Again, this, this bit here where we're going over is really rough. The road's very, very rough. And it's not that bad. So again, down on the left, up on the right, six speed box. You can also put it into sport there. So that's in sport. Too, can't curl it. Uh, too many animals to uh, drive fast around here anyway. and. and I don't want to. It's just lovely. So, out of sport, into automatic, we don't have to do anything. Uh, you've got cruise control on the left hand side here. You have to switch, there's a, a button there or a, a rotary control, switch cruise on. Then there's another rotary control that you just turn up like so, and that sets it. You can turn it keep moving your speed up or down if you turn it back towards you. I don't need the cruise on so I'm just going to touch the brake, knock that off. Half folding door mirrors. So electric seats. Um, three position memory. Real, real good specification this. Sat nav. Um, I'm not sure about Bluetooth hands-free. I've, I've not even tried to set it. All been a big rush this morning. Um, getting out to do it. Just going to put the cold air on the front windscreen onto the cameras. And stop them from overheating on this freezing cold day. I might, I might just have to knock it back into manual, going round a certain death corner. These walls on either side, it'll uh, burble and reverberate. It's 
so nice leather. The seats are very, very comfortable as well. It's a great Grand Tourer. There was a film I watched many years ago, and uh, right, so I'm just gonna put it into sport, into manual. Gonna beep, make sure there's nothing coming. around the corner in the country so that's uh, that's back back into automatic and out of sport get more miles to the gallon that way too <clears throat> nice piano black finish to the dash inset it's got both speakers I should really have checked whether it had Bluetooth hands-free I'll, I'll try and do it it's, well, must must have Bluetooth hand, hands-free or it's had a kit fitted. There's a little microphone there. This suspension, it's just awesome. Yeah, sorry, there was a, a film, a French film I saw many years ago about a, a, a quadriplegic guy with a I'm going to say manservant, helper, carer, but not your typical type of carer. He was from the wrong side of the uh, street, <laughs> and the, the guy had a kind of a people carrier to take him around, but he also had a Maserati, and uh, the guy used to manhandle him into the Maserati to, to take him everywhere. It's a really good film. And it was, uh, it's been, just been remade recently with Gosh, I can't remember his name. Kevin Hart. Um, it's, it's a very, very good film. I'll, I'll try and remember what it is and, and, and cut it in if you want to watch it. But the, the star of the show, it's a good film. Subtitled, I think it is, as well, or dubbed. The original one. Uh, in, in the second one, I think, I think Kevin Hart uses a Mercedes-Benz. Uh, but... Honestly, the first one, this stole the show. And going, going back, I'd never driven a Maserati until about, be about 12 years ago now. And uh, they were just awesome. I, I loved them. We, we had a Grand Sport in, and I, I just loved it. It was fantastic, the sound. And it was right in front of my desk, and every time we started it up to move the, the, the cars around the showroom it, it just it was just awesome but we had another one for sale we were selling it on behalf of a, a customer who was in I think it was the Saudi royal family close protection unit and he was a he was a handful you you, you knew he was going to be a handful probably ex-SAS but a pleasant guy and he used to ring up every Monday and car sales were a bit slow back then. Um, we were trying to get him the best money as well, so it was probably a little bit overpriced. And it, it hadn't sold. And this went up, he, on, he used to ring up every Monday morning, I think, to see whether it sold or we'd got anybody interested in it. And, and in the end, I, it used to be embarrassing and saying, no, I'm sorry, we, we, we're not at the moment. I'll let you know as soon as we do. And anyway, it must have been something in my voice. Uh, perhaps he didn't believe me. And he must have thought that we'd sold it and we were keeping the money. Anyway, as if you've, any, if you've ever watched any like hostage negotiations, the first thing they ask for is proof of life. And uh, basically, I, I had to get a copy of the Times and stand in front of his Maserati and take a photograph to, to prove the car was still there. But uh, it, 
it was uh, he, he was a nice bloke, but a bit like me, don't trust anybody. So that's me Maserati stories. But honestly, the guy who makes the exhaust or who tunes the exhaust and the engine for Maseratis, he should be able to write his own flipping check. Um, he, he, you know, he, he can go anywhere and improve a car. Electric windows all right. As I mentioned, the electric seats, the heated seats too. The there is a switch, like a squirrel. There is a switch at the front here. I can't just find it. I saw it before. Oh, there we go. A little thumb wheel. It's just showing on the dash there that the uh, heated seats on. So I turn that on. Then we've got we've got the petrol flap alongside here. You've got your lights. We'll just put them on auto. Um, boot opening, parking sensors or parking on, parking off. Here we have mode and that changes your display on the dashboard. Just there. We've got two little switches on the back here that uh, for the radio that you can change channel with. That's, uh, I'm not sure whether you can just see that, but that's just there. Volume control. That must be changed track. Over here we've got info. There you go, that's on your sat nav at the moment, set up, time and date, we can turn that down, display volume, that sounds like an ice cream van, this car set up, set door locks, auto close, driver door, trunk door, keyless go, easy entry, No, I didn't check that. Perhaps that'll be tyre pressures, I think. So we must click escape there, go back. Warning buzzers. Easy entry. Temperature. So that's just changing between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So that's obviously the radio that's on and it's playing some... Uh, I'm going to turn that off. I do want to drive this very fast. <laughs> Nice clear display. Left hand side you've got fuel gauge, then speedo, your information display in the centre, rev counter, and then coolant temperature on the right hand side. I have to say this camera is waving about quite a bit. Hopefully I'll get a reasonable picture from that there. No weight on the seat. And although although it's hard suspension, it, it as I say, it doesn't feel like it. It's very good. We'll all just put nav on. Got nav there. You've got trip. 
on it, how far fuel range, how many miles to the gallon you're doing, distance travelled, I've done 73.7 miles today. Radio, turn that some classic, turn it down. Again, for the for the money that we're asking for this, you could probably go out and buy a I don't know a Ford Focus or something, a Mondeo and Insignia. Come on, Dove, get out of the way. Got a death wish. So what is this is another car I'd like to take to Sorrento, up the Amalfi Coast, 500 bends. Just at normal speeds, it's uh, it's lovely. The heated seat is nice and toasty. Oh, there it is, top there. So turn that off. As I say, the, the, the vehicle's not mint, but for what we're asking for it, it's probably the best. Um, example out there. Old chap going a bit faster. Did I see another car coming up there? Yes, I did. car if you're on a classic something to look forward to at weekends and there seems to be more and more of that going about these days then uh, again I can thoroughly recommend this vehicle it brings a smile to your face and your ears <laughs> if, you, if your ears could smile this would be the car to make them Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.